Lost inside you'll never find Lost within my own mind Day after day this misery must go on Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to find out who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions down in the comment section below or with a video response. And who knows, your comment or video response has a chance of appearing in the next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Genos, the unstoppable force, and Brian Fury, the immovable object. One's bulletproof, one's fireproof, both are deadly cyborgs. So let's find out who will claim victory. This is Universes. At just the young age of 15, Genos already had it pretty rough. He had a pretty normal life at first, until one day a rogue cyborg attacked his town. Parks were destroyed, buildings were destroyed, and of course his home along with his family were also destroyed. Genos was spared from the carnage though and roamed the destroyed city until he was found by Dr. Kusuno. After some begging, Genos convinced Dr. Kusuno to turn him into a cyborg as well so he could track down the rogue cyborg and give it some well-deserved payback. Genos' brain was transported into a completely mechanical body and he began his journey. Four years into his journey though, Genos met a strange man. He was completely bald and didn't seem like much, but was somehow full of incredible power. His name was Saitama, and with a little more begging and offering to pay rent, Genos convinced Saitama to take him under his wing and teach him the secrets to this incredible power. As mentioned before, Genos' body is 100% mechanical, allowing him to perform incredible feats of speed and strength. This power comes from a piece in his body called the core, which mainly rests in his chest, but he can move it to other parts of his body when he needs more power in that specific spot. However, if all else fails, Genos can self-destruct to take out himself and his enemy by overheating his core. Speaking of detachable parts though, Genos also has spare arms. And trust me, he's going to want spares of these babies because they have crazy power. Well, obviously he's able to punch harder and faster, but his arms can also conduct electricity and shoot gigantic waves of fire. Genos could also use this fire for mobility, shooting himself around the battlefield like a rocket. He'll combine this extra mobility with his strikes to deal harder damage. Then last but not least is his scanner. Genos' cyborg eyes allows him to gather information about his foes and keep track of them while they move at incredible speeds. All these cool gadgets come at a price though. Genos is incredibly breakable. His arms can come off easily and he can be torn to shreds with enough force. Luckily it isn't a very high price to pay though as Genos has some great survivability. He isn't overwhelmed by pain and he's still fully functional despite being all torn up like this. In fact, he was still able to move even when his upper body was reduced to just a few strands. His mechanical body can defend perfectly against bullets though, plus you don't want to get in his way when he gets serious. He can kick gigantic craters into the ground and obliterate an entire building with the force of his flames. Not only that, but when he has something to ignite, his fire can reach a range that covers almost an entire city. He was also able to stand up pretty well against Deep Sea King who was thrashing the other S-Class heroes. And if that's not enough, Genos is also incredibly speedy. He can move faster than the eye can track and even keep up with Saitama's after images, however fast that would be. He can also keep up with other S-Class heroes like Atomic Samurai who have been calculated to have Mach 3000 speeds. He's definitely an unstoppable force to be reckoned with. Master... You're so... Full of crap! Huh? Man, cop, and zombie. Brian was all three of these things, and was well known as a very skilled detective too. But then some dark rumors began to spread. As it turns out though, these dark rumors were completely true. Brian had connections and ties to drug dealers. This led to a massive shootout that took Brian's life, where his body was then donated to Dr. Abel. Now this doc wasn't so normal either as he was creating a cyborg army, and used Brian as another addition by reanimating his body. However, his cyborg body wasn't going to last him very long. He needed help. 
Luckily, his merciful mortal enemy, Yoshimitsu, took him to get fixed. Yoshimitsu brought Brian to get transplanted into a new and more powerful body created by Dr. Boskinovich, the creator of Elisa and the Jack Robots. Basically, any robot you see in Tekken is made by this guy. And of course, like anything else Dr. Boskinovich makes, Brian was stupidly OP. In fact, he was so OP that his drugged up mind went mad with power. Brian's new body was built with a perpetual generator, basically meaning he has infinite stamina and endless energy without the need of a power source. And with this eternal strength, Brian uses it with no mercy. He relies on quick and powerful blows. He'll sometimes chain together a cool combo, but he'll mostly resort to obliterating his opponent's stamina as fast as possible. Brian always uses full power, after all it's unlimited full power, and will show no mercy or honor as even when his opponents are down or even unconscious he'll continue to beat them. And as if Brian wasn't already enough of a deadly weapon himself, you could see him carrying deadly weapons wherever he goes. He often has a pistol, a minigun, a laser minigun, the dude wears ammo belts for casual attire for crying out loud. And despite his corrupt mind, Brian is incredibly smart and skilled in combat as he'll sneak remote sticky bombs onto his opponents. Insane and cunning, now that's a combination you don't want to be stuck in a room with. When getting his new body, Brian was powerful enough and skilled enough to murder Boskanovich and several members of Yoshimitsu's Manji clan. Now, Brian doesn't have a lot of strength-related feats to go off of besides what his weapons can do, but his durability is where he shines. Brian appears to be completely fireproof as he practically bathes in explosions and walks through fire with no problem. Not to mention he's able to survive the sources of these fires, like taking shots from... a tank, and surviving a helicopter explosion so intense it covered a city block area. Bullets hardly do anything to him either, and he was able to survive a beating from Lars, who can take on jack robots calculated to have petaton levels of strength. If you don't know, petatons are enough power to destroy an entire continent, and Jack achieved this level by destroying an asteroid that required this much power. Not to mention, Jack was traveling so fast and performing this feat that he was able to pass several orbit distances within a few seconds, meaning Brian should be able to scale to those Mach 4000 to 5000 speeds. So, can Genos move this stubborn cyborg into defeat? Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. Next time you never as Gino, so as Brian Fury. Well, I would say Brian Fury will take the win. Brian is easily physically superior than Gino's, who is easily stronger than Jack Unit, who is large island level and has moved at Mark 5535 speed, which Gino's is only about mountain level and Mark 3000 speed. But Brian is also smarter than Genos, who is smart, who is can outsmart you, Shimitsu, who is a highly skilled ninja and smart enough to trick Hihashi, which I haven't seen Genos done before of tricking others, and even <laughs> bad Saitama to be his master. Which is very dumb. <laughs> then there's experience and advantage for Brian. Gino is only 19, and Brian, an old guy at least. And even 100. And Brian has also has more moveset than Gino, who has, I assume he would say, 100 moves at least. Which he will have sub which he can surprise Genos when Genos uses up all his moves there. Well, Gino is not completely outclass. He is more skilled than Brian, since he has been trained before in the Hero Association and trained by Satama. And he has the better weapon since his weapons are actually blasting energy waves. That is really strong. That that Brian weapons are mini guns, lasers, knife, explosive. That are military normal weapons. That Genos can casually face it. But even that, his weapons actually drain his energy a lot if he uses it. So I think Brian Fury will be a winner. 
to the second episode of 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 TG twenty nine predictions and and today's prediction is is one of the two strongest characters I've ever known. So here's my prediction. From the looks of it, I think, well, to be honest, the one from One Punch Man, uh, because, because he is far more faster and, and, and stronger, he was able to keep up with Saitama himself. Self. Well, I think he's friends with Saitama, but his friend faced off Captain Underpants, and and I was shocked that even existed. So, my debuting here is why this matchup, which I will not discuss. The one with the yellow eyes is far more faster and stronger, as I said at the beginning of the video. And and plus plus he has a big edge and durability. Thanks for watching my prediction and I will see you in the next video. Bye. And the results are in. The winner is... Brian Fury. Now hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes, yes, I know. Another One Punch Man character lost, but don't leave yet. You definitely don't want to miss who's fighting next. So let's just get through these results so you can all find out. The first thing to discuss is their source of power. Genos has his core while Brian has his perpetual generator. This already puts Brian ahead in stamina, as his perpetual generator would easily allow him to outlast Genos. There's also the fact that Genos' core is much more vulnerable and easy to destroy, considering it's right there on his metallic chest and can be detached. Brian's generator is buried under his tough skin and metallic bones that not even a point-blank shot from a tank could get through. Speaking of durability, it's also no contest who wins there. Sure, Genos can survive heavy beatings and getting torn to shreds and all that, but that still doesn't change the fact that he's getting damaged in the first place. He constantly gets harmed by city block level threats, and even his own fire which can destroy buildings. Meanwhile, Brian consistently survives the same levels of attacks, not only without not taking damage, but without even flinching in the first place. Plus, Brian's fireproof which eliminates Genos' long range arsenal. But, Genos is bulletproof so that eliminates Brian's long range arsenal as well. That means the answer truly lies when they have have to resort to close range combat. Now Genos likely does hit harder as he's able to create huge craters in the ground with his dive kicks, but we already know Brian is tough enough to survive that. Not to mention, Brian is more skilled. Brian has way more combat experience and smarts. Remember, he's a trained cop, a very skilled detective, and has battled in several tournaments fighting opponents like Lars and the continent level Jax I mentioned before. And considering the speed scaling he'd get from those guys too, Brian would also be able to easily outpace Genos and keep an eye on him, especially since like Genos, Brian also also has scanners in his eyes that allow him to detect opponents, even when they're invisible or cloaked. Not to mention, all Brian has to do is get a sticky bomb on Genos and he'll have an ace in the hole considering how breakable Genos is. It looks like this cyborg isn't budging. The unstoppable force will have to surrender. The winner is... Brian Fury. Get ready for the next battle.